Oh, and welcome back to another installment of Thursday Throwdown, the show where we pit two Golden Age teams against each other, and you guys vote for the characters on our teams. This week, I, Calden S, am building out of Invincible Iron Man, and Simeon is building out of Superman and the Legion of Superheroes. Uh, this is an episode I've been looking forward to. I played a lot. It's like, I finally started going to venues when these uh, sets had come out, and first chase i pulled from a booster was iron engine made me want to like get the rest of the chases i didn't even know he was a chase i was like oh why is this dial different you know i didn't even realize it was a chase at all you know so i i love these two sets uh iron man more so legion of superheroes was kind of a terrible set to be honest with you but i played against it a lot because my only friend at the time in hero clicks pretty much uh huge dc guy and we, we pretty much just played these two sets against each other about a million times so i'm Pretty excited uh, for this game. Uh, but Simeon, why don't you go ahead, go ahead and get into your figures. Your yeah. Team. So Team Legion of Superheroes. The whole, you know, uh, Legion for We Are Many or whatever. I don't know. Um, so starting off, what better way to make a Legion of people than a triplicate girl? So there's three of her at the beginning of the game. Uh, when I set up my force, I placed two triplicate bystanders, which have all these question marks next to them. Uh, they basically work exactly like Medusa hairs. Uh, they copy her stats and powers, depending on whatever click she's on. That's what their click and uh, powers and stuff are. When one is KO'd, she gets willpower for the rest of the game. And when she would be KO'd, I can instead KO one of them and then turn her to click seven it says heal her to click seven but you don't heal off of ko clicks so it would just be turn to click seven uh the ability cannot be ignored so don't try it she also has empower but only to affect her and her bystanders so kind of neat she's uh 87 points we'll see what she does um next up is edward nigma the riddler he's got perplex but I can use it regardless of range and line of fire, which seems pretty cool on the outside. Uh, I think he's a unique. It doesn't show on here, but I think so. Um, otherwise, that'd be pretty... Pretty sure pretty he killer. is. Uh, stealth, uh, smoke cloud, shape change, super senses, top dial. Mm. He's uh, pretty good at the old defense. He doesn't get outwit until his last two clicks, and he's only got five printed range, so... Um, not really going to be doing a whole lot more than using that perplex the entire game. And then next up, we've got the big bruiser, uh, Bizarro, who I can pay 25 points for each Orazib token I place on his card. As you can see, there are two Orazib tokens. That means I paid 50 points because I'm all about being cheap when it comes to these guys. Um... Yeah, up to six tokens, so he could have been up to 150. When he takes yeah. damage, I remove one. Uh, when I use support and he gets healed, I can add one, but only up to what I paid originally. Uh, and then also, at the beginning of every turn, I have to roll and click him to the uh, roll a d6 and click him that many times. Uh, and these clicks pads don't roll around, so it'll be fun figuring out uh, what click he's actually on. Uh, the figure I'm most excited to be playing, and one of the few I actually own from the set, uh, I do own Bizarro. I've never actually played him, though. I'm going to be playing Emerald Empress at 115 points, which means she'll be starting on her Running Shot, Psychic Blast, Super Senses, and Outwit click. Um, she gets the Emerald Eye of Ekron at the beginning of the game. It's placed in her square, so I will have to power action to equip it. Uh, it's basically an equip. Um, technically, still have to relic roll, but I automatically succeed as her. She has the calculator team ability, so I can copy the Superman, Batman, enemy, either of those, or Legion of Superheroes, whatever that garbage team ability does. Um, I honestly don't know. Do you know what that team ability does, Calder? Yeah, I mean, it's just a wild card. Oh, great. So yeah. I can't copy it. So you're copying what, like Batman enemy? 
Plus Bizarro has Superman enemy. Yeah, Bizarro has Superman enemy and Riddler has yeah. Batman enemy. Which is, I mean, there you go. it's actually a decent amount of things they can copy then. Things to copy, yeah. Uh, so, the object doesn't count towards my force. She automatically succeeds. When she is assigned the Emerald Eye of Ekron and has two action tokens, she can use her speed powers as a free action, which is cool because she's got Indom, so that means on turns where I'm giving her a second action token, I'll be able to use my speed power an additional time for free, and then before I clear, I'll be able to use it for free. And then uh, the Eye will give me Mind Control, Incapacitate, Improved Targeting, Ignores Hindering Terrain, Ignores Characters, and isn't dealt unavoidable damage from mind control, um, which is just how it normally works now. So that's exciting. When this character takes damage from an attack, Emerald Eye of Ekron is placed in an adjacent square. Characters may attempt to be assigned the Emerald Eye more than once per game. But unless you're her, is it even worth it? No, it's immobile, so no picking it up to hit me with it either. Uh, last but not least, oh, just kidding, it is least, it's Dawnstar. <laughs> yeah, everyone was excited to see this played. Uh, zero range, hypersonic, interstellar tracking means at the beginning of my turn, an opposing character within 10 squares, I choose one within 10 squares, don't need line of fire to do it. Lines of fire drawn to that character this turn are only blocked by blocking terrain. So that's cool because, uh, that means I can shoot through, like, elevated, hindering, no stealth for you, that kind of thing. Uh, mm -hmm. Other than that, tens for twos, nines for twos, mid-dial prob, when I've got willpower instead of any kind of defensive power. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Seems like a, a decent enough character, but uh, really wish that prob was, like, at least click two would have been cool. So that's my team. We'll see if it can stand up against Calder's uh, Mechazoid army. It's, uh, it's actually an armor theme team, which is really cool. I still lost map, but it, it yeah. it's cool. <laughs> With your roll of a four. Yes. <laughs> yeah, sadly. So first up, uh, I'll just do the non-chases first. Detroit Steel. Uh, this is a figure who I've played a ton of. Does that mean he's good? No, he is really bad. But he's 150 points. Armor, Hammer Industries, and Soldier. Seven range, better than average. Flight and indomitable. So I like it. Um, all up until we look at his, you know, values and everything. Proof targeting. He ignores hindering terrain and ignores opposing characters. Uh, he has one trait, which is built hammer tough. Friendly characters named hammer, hammer industry drone modify their range values plus one. Unless already modified by this effect. I hope point cost wasn't bloated too much by that trait because giving plus one range. To like a 75 point generic is pretty trash yeah. it's just terrible you know There's, even like this was like the period of time where they were making generics but they were costing them like crazy stupid high so like you couldn't actually Defensive. run like a decent sized team with them without oh. getting outgunned and then he has the chain gun for America on three different clicks when it's paired with running shot here. And that is energy explosion and precision strike. A lot better when those worked together. Yeah, they don't uh, anymore. <laughs> but, you uh, know, I still get to choose, <laughs> I guess. Uh, so top dial, you know, he's got running shot and pervious. He has good reducers. It's just on dial, it really, it really flakes off hard. Some exploit is cool. You know, he gets to do penetrating damage, you know, but ESD with quake. Never, you know, amazing, you know, charge, exploit, ESD, like, yeah, okay, sure. It's just, his values are really not good. Um, everybody on my team is going to start with a 10 attack, and it really, it's really going to suck um, unless we make some really high attack rolls early on. Next up, the Iron Engine. This is my first chase I ever got. He has only died twice in me playing him. He's been pretty beefy. No Indom, six range, two bolts. 110 points. All the chases are 110 points. Armor passed and scientist. So he has a trait. This is the most important like trait of the game here. It's super cool. So when Iron Engine would be KO'd, roll 2d6. So that can't be re-rolled. If the result on either die is a 5 or 6, you may replace this character with a character um, uh, Invincible Iron Man 051 through 054 on its starting line. 
If you do, deal that character unavoidable damage equal to the six, equal to six, minus the result of the other die. So you have to roll five or six on one die. Okay, and then only one character can be replaced this game, but uh, he's the only character that can use it. But anyways, uh, let's say if I roll like a two on the other die and I roll a five on the other one, I got to take four unavoidable damage whenever they come in on. They can't die. You know, they at least have seven clicks of life, you know. But uh, it, can, it can be rough. And then we have fight the future. Iron Engine modifies his attack and damage values plus one when attacking a character that shares a keyword with him. Armor, past, and scientist. If he attacks any one of those keywords, he gets a plus one attack and damage, which is which was great in this set. I mean, the amount of scientists and armor people was insane. He has a special attack power for four clicks of his life. It's best on click three, and then it, like it exists on the other ones. It's grounded lightning rod. Iron engine ignores penetrating damage dealt by non-adjacent characters, which is really awesome. I really dig that. It's really cool. And then on his first three clicks and this was so fun like he doesn't look like water should be like his thing like he doesn't necessarily like be like oh yeah blastoise energy or iron engine um but for some reason it is so he's got water canyons and this was hilarious iron engine hits a character the range attack knock back each care each hit character a number of squares equal to half of iron engine's attack roll not freaking damage dealt half of his attack roll which is so cool and place a special marker in each square these characters now occupy. Sadly, it's not like a trail of water. It's just the one they're in. Uh, this marker is water terrain, and characters hit this way can't make ranged combat attacks during their next turn. That is awesome. That is just beautiful. Grab some of these water tokens here. All right. Next up is Iron Pharaoh. He got the most votes besides Iron Doom, but Iron Doom is trash, and anyone that voted for him should feel bad because he's a terrible figure. Uh, so anyways, Iron Pharaoh also has the Fight the Future, which is attack and damage values plus one when attacking a character he shares a keyword with. He has Armor, Mystical, Past, and Ruler. So still Armor and Past, but Mystical and Ruler, he'll get plus ones too. Second trait is Golden Falcon Soaring. Now this guy was like meta for a while. Um, just because of this thing, same same vein of the Eva token and uh, what's his face, X Force Gunman, whatever Phantom you know his name, X, yeah, at Phantom X. Anyways, so Golden Falcon soaring is this: when Iron Pharaoh is first placed on the map, place a Falcon special terrain marker in an adjacent square. The Falcon marker moves as if it is a character with the flight ability. Give Iron Pharaoh a free action to either move the marker to three squares or until the end of. Until the end of the turn, Iron Pharaoh can draw lines of fire and count range up to three squares from the Falcon marker using improved targeting, ignores hindering terrain, ignores elevated terrain, ignores outdoor blocking terrain, and ignores characters. So he all of a sudden can see through everything. I believe count range line of fire. Does that mean up to three squares from the Falcon? It means that that's its new range. I believe new range is like three squares is all the falcon can see because it used to be you could use this dude's nine yeah 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 you used to be able to use that's how i read it yeah yeah so sadly it did it, it, it did get nerfed and that was pretty uh maybe like a year later it wasn't really early on it was like a year later after this guy came out anyways uh his middle of his dial clicks two through four he gets pharaoh's slave special attack power iron pharaoh can use mind control but only to target characters with fewer points than himself, he does, after actions resolved, deal one unavoidable damage to the char to the character he hit with his mind control. Oh, pretty cool. That's pretty good. Cool. He's got outwit. He has one click of leadership. He's got some uh, probability control. Got some like dial pen blast. This Iron Pharaoh. Uh, these other four char or three characters are just characters that Iron Engine can potentially uh, come to life on. Uh, so it has to be whatever, zero five one through zero whatever, and I'm already using uh, whatever Iron Pharaoh. So it's going to be these guys, and it's potential. So if they die, they don't get to come back to life as another person. You can't keep stacking that as per the trait. That is my team. Simeon uh, went first. I also have two Mandarin rings on the board. If I pick them up, we'll go into what they're uh, what they do for right now let's just go ahead and ignore them because for some reason these are the only two mansion rings for i wanted to play i have enough points for like the entire um power plant 
But I was like, number one, that's not cool. <laughs> Sabine didn't play a resource when he had the chance. No one voted for the power plant, so I won't play the power plant. Mental that wasn't even a choice. Intensifier. Toe Intensifier and Disintegration Beam. Mento and I yeah. think that's called uh, Coca Cola is Mento Intensifier. Oh, right. That ah. was awful. I ah. hated that. I did not like that. Ah. Have, you, have you seen those, Take your turn. those funny videos Take your turn. where people do yeah. that? Oh, yeah. No, I've, I've been on the internet for the last 15 <laughs> years to see those videos. Yes. <laughs> I have been alive. Um, all right. We'll start off. Uh, Team Legion of People. I'm going to spin them all so I can see their faces. Someone's going to carry good old Riddler. Uh, before I do anything, though, I've got a roll for that uh, Bizarro. Oh. Do you want to accept that, or do you want me to re-roll? Just, like, drop uh, it? Hey, that's... I gotta re-roll that. I don't like it when it drops. That's, like, the worst. Yeah. I try and, like, release on time, but... There you go. That's a two? Two, yeah. It hovers, it says two, even though it's cocked okay. physically. Physically, I'm a two. I will click him twice. Ooh, good click. Sidestep, Quake, uh, Impervious. Won't be able to do anything with Ooh. it, but it is that's good, what it is. Uh, even though Riddler can count or er, target with uh, range and line of fire, since it's still first turn immunity, I won't be able to perplex any of Calder's values, which is sad because uh, I'd really like to give him like some lower speed or something. Mm -hmm. Emerald Empress is going to power action to equip the emerald eye or whatever the heck it's called the eye of uh agamoto is that it uh <laughs> ekron what a good Ekron, you got thing. it um it's technically under her i never placed anything because they didn't give me anything to place uh i think you think yeah mm. so that's one action um so he can go eight plus another two. I'm going to have Dawnstar carry Riddler. No, I don't want to do that. I'm going to have Bizarro carry Riddler with sidestep to here. And he's going to drop him right there in the hindering. Okay. And move some triplicate girls so they've got eight speed right now she's on click one eight speed with sidestep so we'll go one two and one two we'll do you can use those blue action tokens remember we don't have to use the uh normal tokens with oh, the uh right these ones. I think you still have to use them for the pogs, but... I'll see. I want to. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where that went. Oh, it's just laying there. Okay. Uh, yeah, so that's three actions. I've got one left. Uh, let's see. I'll give this to this lady. And... Uh, man. I guess the regular triplicate girl probably makes the most sense to move. Hmm. Yeah, she'll go. I'll go there. That's fine. What are you going to do, attack? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I can't really. Uh, Wish. What are yeah, the, did they share her defense right? So she's seventeen super senses. Right. Yeah. They have the same. Yeah. They just have like the same exact dial as her, the whole time. Yeah. Um, I don't have any free actions other than my perplex. Do so. I can't really do that right now. So, yeah, that's all I really got. Okay. Let's do a free action for Iron Fair to move the Golden Falcon. On, two, three squares there. Iron Pharaoh phase on top of disintegration beam. All right. Let's see. Detroit Steel. 10 speed. One, two, three, four. 
say if I'm running shot to here. Oh yeah. All right. Don't running shot to there, carrying the iron engine. Let's go ahead and energy explode on the uh, on the triplicate by standards. Calder needs Owie. eight. Oh, eight. Uh, I do believe, however, I see through hindering terrain. Uh, so I need, I need sevens. Uh, energy uh, explosion with precision strike, so I totally ignore your super senses. Ha, nine. Didn't matter. Still got it. Uh, one on the left. My left. Your left, my right. Doesn't get it. Nice. Four. Nice. We've okay. successfully killed two bystanders. Hey, hey, hey. That's not very. Don't throw them in my side of space. Throw them in your side of space. No, Don't do that. Don't... Get clutter up my space, dude. Great. More space trash we send out to space every year, and you're. You're whatever. You're helping that, Simeon. It's all your fault. Uh, I can't do anything else on my turn, so it is your go, Simeon. All right. Well, I now have willpower, so you've unlocked that. I hope you're happy. Oh no! I'm gonna clear oh, this arrow. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, one click. Let's see what one click after this is. Hypersonic, super strength, uh, shape change, and super senses. Ooh. It's not too bad. Um, I don't think I can get anywhere with my 8 speed. I have 8 speed, 6 range. 1, 2. So I could get there. And shoot nowhere. So that's good. It's a good click to be on. Um... don't think I really want to get involved with this mess just yet. So Emerald Empress could go uh, let's see. Mm. Yeah, I, huh. I don't, I don't like the way that the huh. Huh. things are right now. Let's just move Dawnstar to uh, somewhere that she can do something. Um, perhaps next turn. Uh, perhaps the Riddler will perplex down. Steampunk Iron Man's Iron Engine's uh, de uh, attack because I'm not attacking. Oh man! Anything, so it doesn't make any oh, sense. Man. To... It's a bummer. Um, I guess I haven't given an action to Bizarro. So why do I keep saying it like that? <laughs> I don't know. It's Bizarro. I, I don't know. What... Like the old Bizarro. Bizarro Green Arrow Chase. The nickname that Zero. I had. like I keep saying it like that for some reason. Yeah, it's really sad. Uh, Simeon needs help, guys. Yeah. You can help fund his therapy or whatever sessions he needs to go to by donating to our Patreon uh, link in the description below. I greatly appreciate that. Trust me, Simeon. Simeon needs it. It's true. I took a tree to the head today. Might have a concussion. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think that's all I've got that turn. So I'm gonna okay. Dawn Star up. Triple Kit Girl's apparently not too sad about her loss of her uh, siblings or whatever. Their selves. She'll sidestep. Siblings. I lied. She's not siblings. Gonna... Uh, maybe she already did. I don't want to. I'll leave her there. Yeah. Perplexing Eat. down Iron Engine's attack and clearing so Emerald Empress and uh, yeah. Triple Kit Girl. Okay. You have no leadership, so there's nothing for me to roll, which kind of sucks. I think as a free action, though, we're going to move the Falcon one, two, three to there. 
seems like a neat idea. All right, and then engines of nine attack with whoever he targets is rough. I think we should just go no big hit maybe not Ed Enigma is stealth be plenty. I gave you plenty. I gave you a whole stack. What are you doing? They just go away, though. That's true. They do just go away. I don't know. All right. Let's, uh... Man, this is tough. Let's have Detroit Steel open up. As much as I don't want to, like, double token a bunch of people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Five. Detroit Steel running shots here. We're going to shoot Triplicate Girl. Yes, you will attempt to. Oh, I have to use the pushed second one. It's dumb. I hate that I have to do that. Okay, whatever. Got to use the pushed, apparently, for a second attack. Uh, I am a 10. She's a 17. I'll be using Precision Strike with this attack. Ooh. Aha, that's the 7 I needed. And this is the 6 I needed. That's a 3 will be for four damage. Click five. Her, uh, what's her defense looking right now? Got a 15 with uh, combat reflexes. Ah. Hey, I like those odds. Uh, we can running shot five with the iron engine. One, two, three, four, five. Go to here, and we'll target both triplicate girl and... Dawnstar, I guess. We need like we need 11, 11 to hit Dawnstar. Dawn yeah. Or a, a 6 to hit Triplicate hit. Girl. And that is a crit hit. Energy Explosion, kill them both. That is a 4. That will miss, uh, that will miss both, even with Perplexed Down attack. A little rough, personally. Iron Engine and Token. And then we're going to go ahead and clear what's his face? The Iron Pharaoh. It is your turn, Simeon. All right. Let's roll for Bizarro. I said it correctly mm. that time. Uh, Good job. He's going to click six times. Oh, now you got to click so, past yeah, it. Or go, not past uh, no, it, he's or... still on his first dial because it's a 12 click long dial. Oh, okay. so, uh, oh, nice. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hypersonic speed with an eight attack. Uh, three damage, though. Yeah, that eight attack though. Ugh, that did not that did not help me out. Um, I think we can work with some of this though. Uh, let's see here. Who's my bigger threat? Engine Boy or Detroit Steel? Detroit Rock City. Iron Engine's the one that can reduce penetrating damage. He can't yet. It's only when he has a special attack power. Oh, okay. So right now they can both be pen blasted. Let's see. I can go five squares. I can go like here and then shoot eight. Yeah, I can I think I can get it. Um let me let me count it out. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This ruler doesn't work great for me. Uh, so Dawnstar is going to activate their special ability. Choose an opposing character within ten squares. Line of fire, lines of fire drawn to that character are only blocked by blocking terrain. We're going to pick Iron Engine. Okay. Easier for lines of fire. Uh, Emerald Empress is going to running shot five squares to here. I don't think it'll really matter too much. Um, and we'll go ahead and uh, Psychic Blast. It's an 11 to an Ooh. 18. Hurt. Gonna hurt. Probably should have perplexed down with good old Ed Enigma, but we'll see. Need a 7. That was that was a drop. 
It's a bit of a drop, yeah. I was about to say, it's a bit of a bit of a drop. Oh, you don't no. have to. You don't have to throw my figures around just because you roll bad, Simeon. Bees. Oh, a ten. Oh, uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> ten. Oh, did you did you see that? Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, so that'll miss. It's a recorded like, game. Like I was gonna 60. see it eventually. I mean, yeah, eventually, but. <laughs> oh, By wow. then it's too late. I've already won. Uh, oh wow! I think... really just wants to be on the scoreboard, people. He really wants to be on the board. So the the golden Being... uh, falcon isn't an actual character I can attack, right? No, no, it's just that's so garbage. Basically, a special terrain. Yeah. Um, at least you could kill Eva, but yeah, this thing is just it exists. Yeah, Emerald Empress will outwit Iron Engines. Invuln, right? Invuln. Uh, yes, that is the yeah, it's defense yeah. power I've got. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that, and we'll hypersonic with Biz. Oh, gosh, I almost keep doing it. Bizarro, <laughs> we'll hypersonic one, two, three, four, five squares. So I'll have four squares left to move, and um, I'm gonna need a high number either way, so I'm not going to use perplex on that. So it's an 8 into an 18. Basically 10. Need a, uh, a that. Ah, yes. Oh, that will do it. Then. For how much? For 3 damage. One, two, three. Ah. Not great. Still got some running shot energy explosion. We did lose my water cannon, though. Kind of hoping to do that. Um, no. I guess technically we do that to Dawnstar. Oh, we did. Not with him. Yeah, yeah, he missed. Yeah, never mind. Yeah. Oh, I need a water to cannon. Sucks. Roll to continue my movement. Yes. Out of one. Got it. Okay, so I can go four squares. One, two, three, four. It's not really a ton of places I want to go, but let's go. Let's go one, two, three, four. We'll go into this hindering patch. That seems safe enough for now. Um. Yeah, I'm looking at this guy over here now. What's he got for attack value? He's a 10. Will perplex down. Uh, let's perplex down Iron Pharaoh's attack with ah. Enigma. Okay. Um, yeah, and I'm going to clear Dawn Star. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Wasn't clicking the right thing. Uh, clear her. Probably should move Triplicate Girl, but that's fine. So yeah, just the the two actions this turn when I uh. had four, but who needs to work effectively? Okay, uh, don't take that advice, folks. Anyways, so looking at what I have available, not uh, maybe pushing... You're not really a pen blast person. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, you have it. Like, I'm gonna, I don't want to damage myself that much, anyways. I should just hedge my bets, stay where I'm at. Got a lot of people tokened up, got one attack to make. I think, I think we're gonna do nothing with the boys, with the with the big beefy boys, and let's go see what the Pharaoh wants to do. So the Pharaoh, it's a 50-50 uh, pickup roll or the relic. Um or we can just well we can still move the token no matter what, or we can say I want to be able to see within three squares. Uh, and there's no one to shoot within three squares. So we're gonna move the token on to three squares to there and now that we've moved it we really can't we can't choose to draw a line of fire because it's or so sadly it's just moving it shooting out of it and that's it 
So let's yeah, let's have Iron Pharaoh roll to uh pick up the the Mandarin ring. A four or a six. Ah, all right, very cool. <laughs> a one. It's a good. End. That'll that'll be it. Yeah, not a no, no, it wasn't. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> that that'll be it. That'll be the turn. That was my one action to do nothing. And yeah, that's it. That's all we got, folks. All right. Bizarro needs a new pair of pants. Or something. I don't know. Yeah. I need a high roll so I get to a decent part of my dial. Two more clicks, so that'll put me on click 12. I haven't turned the dial around yet. Oh. I've passed over a 12 attack with 3 damage exploit. Now what are you? Uh, Well, not bad. I've got sidestep, 10 attack with super strength, 16 defense with uh, impervious, and 3 damage with ranged combat expert so it could be a lot worse funny. yeah could be could be um six range if i sidestep one two three four five six oh that iron pharaoh's just sitting over there waiting for me to get to him huh uh man i really hate that little bird and I kind of I'm want alone. to... <laughs> uh, let's see. Iron Engine's got toughness right now. I should probably get Detroit Steel to like a garbage part of his dial. So I think that's going to be part of my play, what I do. If you can even hit Detroit Steel, that's the real question. Yeah, yeah, that is going to be rough. And I only have one perplex to throw around. I need a decrease somebody's defense this turn so let's go i think we're gonna go with detroit steals defense perplexed down okay down to 17 um uh, i need to do that at the beginning of the game with Dawnstar or beginning of the turn but I don't think this barrier, this uh, golden falcon thing, doesn't actually block line of fire or anything for me, right? It does not block line of yeah, fire. You just, like, just obviously you can't enter that space. Right. So, so uh, I think the first thing to do is going to be running shot with Good old Emerald Empress to see. Use those other tokens, Simeon, please. <laughs> I'll push her to do this. Uh, so I've got five squares I can go. One, two, three, four, five. I think that's fine. And then, no, I need mm. to go. Mm. Two characters? Go, like, there. She ignores characters when she has the uh, the gem thing. Uh, the eye, yeah. yeah. Okay, gotcha. So I can running shot to there with her and shoot at good old Detroit Steel. And then... Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. That is what I'm going to do then. Going right down the good old. Wait, was it? Yeah, it was here. Uh, Not direct, all four. <laughs> direct diagonal. I believe. I mean, is it? No. Oh, I think I was. Here. Here you go. Here you go. Now you got it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so she's an eleven psychic blast into his eighteen impervious. Uh, 17, perplexed oh, down, yeah. right? I perplexed. Yes. This is the one I'm going to perplex because uh, reasons. So only need a 6. Uh, right. That'll do him for how much damage? 3 whole damage. Straight through. Not in love with that. Uh, still got to take out for America. We're rocking that toughness. Now, Rough. Emerald Empress is going to outwit Iron Pharaoh's invulnerability, I believe. Ooh. 
uh, we'll sidestep Bizarro to here. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh wait. Okay. All right. Bizarro's got two action tokens. Oh, uh, all right. Okay. Uh, Interesting so we'll move, Bizarro. Outwit. Let's see. Oh, okay. We'll outwit Iron Pharaoh's outwit. That's what we'll do. I'm cheating. All right. Sure. Sure. But here's a here's the fun thing that we'll do. We'll uh. Running shot, one, two, three. Can't four, running four, shot. You already shot. Five. What are you doing? What are you talking about? Oh, no. I don't know if you know this, but... Uh, oh, that's the Emerald, right. I have Ekron that's attached. Right. Whatever. And I have two action Whatever. tokens. I can use a speed power for free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. I'm gonna... Oh, wait. Let me count that out again. So she was right there. One, two, three, four, five. There's not a better place I can get to. Um, mm. I'll go there. I don't know. That seems fine. Uh, she does ignore characters and hinder. I don't like it. Targeting, so. I don't like it. Psychic blast active. I hate this chick. Eat a seven to hit. That ah, is good. Not even close to a seven. Good. Big ol' three. Good. Uh. And I was thinking about outwitting one of the other guys, but I think toughness is fine. So mm. what we're going to do is move triplicate girl. This will be action two. We'll move her here. Yeah. And we'll hypersonic Dawnstar. Let's see. We'll go after... Mm. Yeah, let's go after the guy with the 10 attack. So she'll hypersonic to there. She's a 10 for 2. I need a 7, I believe. Ah, nice. So that'll miss. And then I'll roll to continue my movement. Good. Good. A 4 will break away hmm. so i moved a total of two squares i've got 10 squares i can move um we'll go like right here i don't think you're okay. gonna me from there, so that seems safe and then i'm gonna clear bizarro because i almost used him really effectively this turn and i was not paying attention to anything so hmm. We'll, we'll blame that one on me. I should get Edward Nigma up there and start smoke clouding you, getting those minus one. That's right. That's <clears throat> Some do. E Nigma. That's correct. Okay. So. Look, one, two, three. Man, I wish I could move and shoot out of this thing. Ah. And is way nerfed into the ground. People uh, still be thinking Iron Pharaoh's is good. Uh, he's not. All right. Looking here, energy explosion looks like poison. Boy, do I wish it was. Um, <laughs> don't want to waste an attack on that chick. She's just kind of lame and not worth it, really. She's got Ugh. a fairly long dial for like how awful she is. Yeah. Like, let's have Iron Engine punch her. Punch old triplicate girl. I guess he needs. He's he has the easiest chance to hit. Okay. A 10 to a 15 combat reflexes, so 17. Need a 7. Ah, that is an 8. That'll do it. For how much? 3? 3 damage, yes. 1, 2, 3. I think she's still alive. Hmm. Oh, no. Weird. Uh, to me, it gives me KO, 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 KO. Stop doing that. That's You're cluttering up my space. My it's literal fine. part of section of space. Where we play I can't this game throw at? Behind me, can I? Can I? Yeah. Oh no. No, it just goes. Okay. Down. All right. There you go. All right. So now you know. Uh, Detroit Steel is freed up to do some, some bad, do some bad, do some good. He is going to running shot. The one, two, three. All right. Let's go here. I uh, will try to target Bizarro. Okay. He's just got impervious right now. Oh, is that all he has? You didn't switch his dial around. Oh. How many? Uh, he should be on click 12, so... 
Is that, yeah, 7, 10, 16, 3. Okay. So we need a 7 to hit Bizarro. This isn't strike. We'll hit him for 1. We hit him for 1 anyways. Well, no. Well, I mean, yeah, it gets past Impervious, which is nice. Ah, that will miss. Gross. Gross. That is Detroit Steel's action. Now I have to decide if I want to push Iron Pharaoh or what. Because I can't really, you know, do much. Here's the thing. What keywords does the Emerald Empress have? If she's an Empress, hopefully she has a keyword I'm thinking she has. Uh, she's got Fatal Five, Future, Legion of Supervillains, and Mystical. Mm -hmm. Mystical is what I was hoping for. So... Uh -oh. Uh, Iron oh, Pharaoh is a mystical. Ruler. She also has ruler. A ruler. She also ruler. See, I, that's what I kind of insinuated, but then I realized like she's clearly like a magician of some kind or whatever. Like she should probably have that too. So cool. Uh, since you share two keywords, no, just kidding. Uh, yes, damage is plus one when attacking a character that shares a keyword with him. Sadly, it doesn't stack. I would love to be a twelve or whatever. Uh, I don't see through hindering. Do you have stealth at all? Uh, I don't believe so. I think it's. Mind control in cap. I have improved targeting. Uh, mm. And that, no, that's it. I have missed. I really wish I could move Super the Pharaoh Six. or the the Falcon and also shoot because then I could shoot with all that crazy ignores everything. Instead, I'll just uh, push Iron Pharaoh to shoot the Emerald Empress. He'll be an eleven for four. It's a uh, big hopes here. Big hopes to hit some defenses. Ah, a 19 should hit. Uh, we'll see. Super Senses says. Oh, come on. Ooh. Uh, so nice. for four. And then I'll take one for pushing, and I believe another one Three, because four. being a mystic. Wait. One, two, three, four. Okay. Just didn't change. Weirded me out. Well, uh, I can news. I can still use mind control twice and for free. Um, because click the, seven, oh, wait, right? I have to place the emerald eye adjacent. Right. That's so right, you do. I can't actually do anything other than that. So now that I have a wit, I think ability one, two, three, we can ignore either three from the thing or we can ignore win her. You can't do anything next turn, right? Is that correct? With Emerald Empress? Yeah. Emerald Empress, yeah. There's nothing no. free she can do besides Perplex. Uh, Mind Control, but I don't have the gem equipped, so no. I can't even do that. Sweet. That's good. Um, ah, but Bizarro's just going to change anyways. So I guess, what powers can Bizarro have? We'll, we'll outwit Hypersonic speed on Bizarro. Okay. He can potentially have that. That's us choosing to draw a line of fire through the Falcon, and we'll use it. Um, and then, yeah, that is my turn. That is all the actions I can do. All right. I'm going to roll for, oh, for Bizarro's damage. I'll have to mm. turn him to click one and then roll back again. So five clicks, so... That should just put me on click five. So I'll go to click one. And then two, three. It doesn't it take you to click one first? Basically how it would work, right? All the way around. Yeah. So you click once to click one, then the other four. Because you're clicking five times, right? Yeah. So it'd be click one and then two, three, four, five. Right? No. Click Wouldn't five. you click once to click one? Right. So that counts as one. Yeah. You're clicking through a whole thing, so it's yeah. Then One, two, two, three, four, five. Three, four, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Yep. Nope. Yep. I don't know what I was thinking, but yes, you're correct. I don't. I don't know either. I'm. It's gracious. I was. I was. I have to count myself. it out every time because I, four, for five. some reason, turning a yeah. dial makes me second guess my ability to number. Anything. Um. Let's see. Who's Who's still a solid threat? Because Bizarro's the only one that can do a whole lot. He's got seven speed. I can go four squares. One, two, three, four. Let's start there. Uh, one, two, three, four. I can get to the bottom two. Detroit Steel has 
in Dom, but he's also got only a 9 attack. Iron Engine can still come back from the dead. So let's just try and deal with that first, I think. Um, did you... You outwitted my hypersonic... Emerald so you can do whatever you want. Perplex up. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, she'll perplex up Bizarro's... Let's go damage. So he's a four Ooh. damage. Ooh, going for the big damage. Uh, Riddler big will damage. perplex down Iron Engine's defense. Let's do that. Ooh, okay. So All right. I'll need a five for four. Um, I'm going to end up charging to, let's see, four squares. One, two, three, four. This square. Mm. All right. Right. Need, need an average roll for some big damage. Big crit miss. Big crit miss. Oh, nope, that will hit. Okay. Uh, that'll be... Four damage with exploit. Be get rid four. Of that Ooh. For you. That'll be a KO on Iron Engine, which means we can try to... Bring him back to life. We roll 2d6. We need a 5 or 6 on either die. Come on. Uh, Come on. Uh, ah, see, that's that's really what happens with a dumb ability. All right. 2 and 3 <laughs> will, not, uh, will not make it pop off. That's a real shame. That really sucks. It's lucky for me, though, because uh, yes. I'm hurting. Uh, Bizarro's my best figure right now, and he's 50 points. He's two attacks away from dying. Um, oh, he's one, one attack? Because I already shot him once with Detroit Steel. You didn't hit, though, right? Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, you're right. I did miss. Yeah, yeah shoot. I forgot about that. Raz um, Mataz. That sucks. One, two, a three, fan. four, five. Not a fan. Yeah, I've used my perplexes. Uh, this lady doesn't change too much, so let's push her. And she'll go after Detroit Steel with Hypersonic. So mm. She'll go, let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five squares to there. Go old 10 attack into the 17. Need a 7 oh boy. for one oh boy. damage. This is, you know, this is pro gaming when you take a damage to deal one damage. It's a real good uh, decision. And Low case, damage. And uh, you just... Stop. Just take a damage for no reason. It's good. It's good stuff. Um, see if I can break away and continue. You did that in spades. Roll. The eight roll. breakaway roll. Uh, so that was one, two, three, roll, three, roll the five or five. six on the other thing, whatever. Uh, or use the dumb water tokens <laughs> either. Whatever, stupid iron engine. We'll finish my speed here. My my hypersonic and my speed. My speed is done. Uh, I'll clear Emerald Empress. Maybe. My, what speed? Amazing. All right. I go. This is going to be a little tough. It's going to be tough. Let's... Hmm. This team would have been infinitely better is. back when Mystics was copyable and unavoidable. I mean, yeah. Yeah, that's every team, though, Simeon. Come on. Well, every team, All right. a bunch of wild cards and mystics. Not just every team. Call Got it. whatever. Chain gun <laughs> for Marka. Got to decide what we want to do. We'll turn gun for Marka. A running shot. One, two, three, four. It's up here. Uh -oh. Let's. Let's shoot someone, huh? Across in a Dawn Star Square. I don't know. Ignore characters. Even if I ignore hindering, I don't ignore characters. It sucks. Well, you're on elevation, right? That's true. Uh, let's try to target. Yeah, let's try to target Riddler. Okay. Go for the Riddler target here. Uh, I've got shape change. So try that first. Well, that was a terrible roll, but. Okay. Leave it. Big number. Hmm, five. I don't think that a, is the number we wanted. Got a 16. Ah, 
kind of close. Needed a seven off by two. All right. Well, we tried with that one. Let's choose to draw a line of fire from the Falcon for Iron Pharaoh. And let's outwit Bizarro's uh, willpower. Ah. And that's all we can do because it's the only two characters. We have to clear Iron Pharaoh. Okay. It is your go. All right. I've got a roll for Bizarro. I've got a whole dial to work with now. Uh, five will put me on a five. garbage click, I believe. Nope, that's a click ten. Right? Five from click five. Yes, you're on five, yeah. Dials work funny because you start on one. So, yeah. I don't know. Uh, so that gives me hypersonic. That's my hypersonic eight attack, 16 defense, and three damage. Uh, let's see. Should be that one. Yeah, click 10. Um, there's not a ton of fun stuff to do on that click. Emerald Empress isn't doing a ton of stuff either. I really miss my outwit, especially since uh, you know Iron Pharaoh is sitting over there pretty. Uh, let's... Mm. I think she's got a... So pretty. She's going to move to pick up... Or wait, her relic's immobile. Immobile. You just have to move next to it. What square is it in, by the way? Well, it's adjacent to her. Okay, so... Can I equip it what from What square, square is it in? What square I is just, it in? Uh, I it's just... I don't, I don't have a thing to play, so... It's in whatever you square can, you want it to you be. You could in. literally use a green, uh, green token that you have that's like a green eye, almost, one could say. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, uh, I mean, I know normal equipment objects, it's holding this or in a square that it occupies. Right. So I imagine that's what it used to be. I'm just going to stand on it then. I'll take an action to stand on it. Okay. And then an action I'll to perplex stand. up my own defense with her. Um, Riddler's going right. to perplex down Iron Pharaoh's attack. And Rude. I'm going to clear... Rude. Everyone else. Yeah. Bizarro and Dawnstar. This is uh, going to be a rough turn. For me. I think we're going to choose to move the Falcon. Lynn Falcon. I don't even think that helps us at all, but we're just going to move it because we're not going to do anything else with it. A uh, Golden Falcon go there. We are going to have Iron Pharaoh outwit the, the uh, ESD on the Emerald Empress, and he's going to shoot her plus one to attack and damage, which makes me a 10 for four. All right. Her 16. 17. That is a four. Whatever. Whatever, man. Whatever. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Iron Pharaoh. Uh, we have to clear uh, Detroit Rock City, Mr. Steel himself. That is it. It's all I can do this turn. That sucks. She should have died. No. She should have died. She's an empress. She's a, You're only a pharaoh. She's a seven. I'm a pharaoh. What? How is? I think if I think pharaohs <laughs> like canonically throughout history probably uh, have more power than an empress. Oh, yeah, I'm wrong. Bizarro. Okay. I'm Five, going oh, back around again. So back around. Let's see. That's two to twelve. One two. Three to one. Uh, two and four, and three is five. So I'm going to click three. I don't think Bizarro was ever meant to uh, be played online. I think this is a dial that works very well in the real world, but uh, kind of sucks to play with online. Um, I think... Well... Yeah, you outwitted ESD, so she's going to take a second action to make that relic roll for that equipment. Hey, it's a six, so it actually succeeds without needing That's a funny. trait that That's automatically funny. succeeds. Uh, I just removed an action token for some reason, so I'll give her that one back. Where'd it go? There it is. 
Okay. Um, uh, I don't so like it. I don't like it. That's what she's doing this turn. She's going to like it down Detroit Steel's defense. I don't um, like it. The Riddler's going to perplex down Detroit Steel's defense. I don't like it. I'm scared. Bizarro's going to sidestep to here and range combat expert all into damage. So he's going to ah. into your 15. Uh. Oh, I don't like it. I don't yeah, like it at four, all. Five. I don't want this to be happening right now. Crit miss. No. No. I reduce it by one. Oh, one, yeah, two, so three, you'll only four. Take four. Wow, only four. That is so crazy cool, Simeon. Thank you. <laughs> uh, let's... Uh, Getting some PTSD flashbacks, losing my Iron Man figures against <laughs> Superman and Legion superheroes figures. This is hurting me a little bit, guys. This is hurting me. Getting the PTSD flashbacks, 2013, 2014. All I would do was lose. Dawn I was so new at the game. Uh, the go ring. die. Go die. Shut up. Yeah. Really? You're going to move that far from my friggin' bird? Yes. Rude. <laughs> Rude planning, but I don't like it. Um, uh, Emerald Empress. Well, so she has it equipped now, so I can actually use uh, mind control in cap, and then I can use speed powers. Right? Let's see. Uh, use them as free action. Cause that's what you did against with the running shot, right? Yeah. So it what is happened. Yeah. Two action tokens. She can use yeah. her speed powers as yeah. free action. So. I can mind control you, but it's not going to yeah. hurt me a whole lot. Yeah. But it's always, it's a free action, so I'll do it. I mean, because uh, there's no one to... Yeah. Free. Right. Mind control you. Free. As long as it's not crazy. Yeah, I think that... Uh, that's a 16. So I've got I am a 17. Attack. 17, yeah, I'm good. So, that'll miss, miss and I'll bring in a miss trouble me. alert. Because that was my third miss this turn. Oh, it was not. No, it was absolutely not. That was your first miss of this turn. Shut your mouth, sir. All right. Let's, let's see what we And mean. this was kind of the first set to have Let's Cause Trouble in it, though. First time we ever got, like, kind of TV versions of Legion of uh, Doom. Yeah. This set. Uh, I mean. Yes, the Legion of Doom, Simeon. Yes, that yeah, is exactly. Yeah. I was trying to think of Black Manta, right? And uh... well, Black the the entire Legion, almost the entire Legion, besides like Scarecrow and Sinestro, were in the set. So I mean, like Toy Man was there, Lex Luthor, Black Mana, Giganta was there, Bizarro, Solomon Grundy. I mean, like a ton of the Legion yeah. was in this. It's set. called Superman Legion of Superheroes, but it's actually a much better villain set than. Uh hero set like all the legion oh, of, of course of riddler kind of obviously they were bad that's because the legion of superheroes are lame and bad that's why i mean i wasn't gonna say it i mean someone had to anyways yeah, is it is like it my turn bag for the last set so. i mean yes, that is it true is it wasn't as bad back. as the last set it wasn't as bad as the last set all right i can't wait to see your emerald empress cosplay trust me i'm waiting <laughs> all right uh, what are we going to do? Iron uh, Pharaoh is just kind of like alive, I guess. He's just vibing. Um, He's got so I many choices. Solve. Yeah, so many choices. Um, oh, this I want to clear because he'll just die. Um, but also Bizarro might take a while to get here. So I think we should push him. I think we should use his mind control or we should just shoot somebody. That is the play. We can outwit ESD and just shoot her. Still 17. We still need a 7. Or we outwit ESD on Emerald Empress. Yep, shoot her. Just get rid of her. We won't take any damage. Or we mind control her, have her move, punch somebody. We'll still take damage, but we'll still kill her with that action. Um, I think we're going to do that. We're going to outwit Emerald Empress's ESD. We're going to try to mind control her so i'll have a 11 attack 16 we literally needed that wow okay great cool uh, my control uh my defense uh, well you don't flex down detroit steals so you should feel bad about it we're gonna move her whatever one square to here doesn't really matter let's have her try to target riddler okay get Shit rid of change. riddler here oh, i forgot to scream detroit smash when i uh 
dealt the oh. killing blow to Detroit yeah, yeah. Steel. Yeah, 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 whatever. All right, uh, let's see if we can hit him. He's with Emerald Empress. Uh, it will hit. All right, and he gets super, super senses. senses says. We're going to deal that damage to, to old Ridley boy. If we okay. can, we can get a whole two damage off. Okay, so he'll go and then, one, two. Oh, so, cool thing about Iron Pharaoh. Yes, so when he uses mind control, but only target characters of fewer points than himself, crap. That was a super illegal action. Um, yeah. Only target That's characters of lower she's points. Uh, he's won 10. Yeah, oh. you're literally five points more than me. <laughs> All right, let's say uh, I did that with Dawnstar. Um, then she also is a yeah, okay, yeah. I'll she, say I did that with Dawnstar. So you would have missed oh, no, I would have missed I all would. that. I would have just missed all that. Uh, who else could I have targeted? No one, yeah, that was an illegal action. I'll just take a push, you can heal. <laughs> you don't have to it take sucks. a push, I don't have to take a Mystics at least, but also yeah. I didn't do anything at all. Cool put her back i mean like can <laughs> technically move you heal riddler shoot myself in the head here later anyway Simeon, it's your turn all right uh rolling for bizarro a four so he's gonna go one two three four to click seven hypersonic speed with quake uh, I don't think I can get over there even with hypersonic speed. It's one, two, three, four, five. This is Bizarro's six, range. Eight. Oh, I could. Yeah. Yeah. Because I can get to that square. Well, I'd have to. I guess I could get there. Then I've got three range. Um. So it's still beginning of my turn. This Dawnstar person. Uh, real cool power. I actually really like it, just not for 81 points. Uh, I'm going to choose an opposing character within 10 squares. Uh, Pharaoh guy. Lines of fire drawn to that character are only blocked by blocking terrain. So now everyone can see you, Mr. Pharaoh. It's like you're up on a huge oh, no. pedestal. Like I, I feel so exposed to the world. Yes, you should. Uh, we'll go ahead and since I can't really do a whole lot else, we're going to perplex your defense down twice. And I'm just going to shoot uh, Bizarro over there. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that'll be a direct diagonal. I don't like it. Ignoring characters I don't like it. because Bird I don't like it. told me to. I don't uh, like it. I don't like it. What do I need? Like a three? All right, old well, rude. First of all, <laughs> well, that's a three. So I uh, uh, flexed it down twice. Hit. No, it misses. Oh. Uh, okay, good. Misses. I needed a wow. four. So cocky about your three, huh, buddy? <laughs> I was. Um, Complete another fool. Let's see. He does have toughness, but there's not really. I'm Ryan. I got toughness. I'm running a worth boy. Doing. Boy. Uh, I'll try and mind control you for free with Emerald All right. Empress. All right. Hoping that I get him off that outwit. Uh, <laughs> All right. My uh, hit? Roll for phasing. Um, one, so it fails. All right. Uh, so you go, Simeon. Go for it. What's your speed value on that bird man? It's a, uh, it is a nine. Nine. Okay. Nine. He's going to walk. Let's go here. Walk like an Egyptian? Yeah. Is that what he's going to do? And then I'm going to give... Edit! Because he's a pharaoh? Come on, listener. Come on, viewer. Uh, Come on. Come on. That was a second action for... Bizarro, that's person. funny that is funny i don't care who you are that is freaking funny guys that is funny like it's less funny when you keep talking to... about it <laughs> i'm giving an action to uh the riddler to punch him riddler the riddler's yeah. gonna punch me the are you riddler's serious gonna take you out he's a five he won't he won't take me out by the way but whatever that will hit sadly damage 
Uh, it'll do one damage. Slow your roll there, buddy. Well, you've got... Yeah, it'll do two. You reduce it. I, I'm still reduce dealing it. two. Let me have my thing. Ever? Ever? Shut up. Um, oh, Mid-dial leadership. Yeah, he has one <laughs> click of leadership. For whatever reason, on click five, he's got Super leadership. Uh, to add insult to injury, I'll clear uh, my bird lady who sponsored that message for you. Um, Thanks. Yeah, that's all I got. All right, well, we're going to move my bird one, two, three squares to here. Oh, sorry, beginning of the turn. Two for leadership. Don't get to remove a token from myself. I'm sure that's what I could totally do. I will clear the Iron Pharaoh and wait for you to kill me this turn. <laughs> um, I have to roll for Bizarro. I don't have a choice. Eight attack, eight attack, uh, eight attack, eight attack, eight attack, eight attack. Click seven, click stump. nine, eight attack. Two clicks. Attack. To stump. Attack. That's good enough for me. Hands on your knees. Good enough. Hands on your knees. Uh, well, he's got two action tokens, so he's not doing a whole mm. lot. But you only have toughness. True. Uh, True. Let's perplex up good old bird ladies, dawn stars damage, and the Riddler will perplex down Iron Pharaoh's defense. So I need a six for three. Mm, okay. Two after toughness. Uh, uh. A little miss. Whatever. <laughs> One, two. All right. We got some late dial probability control going on. Uh, let's see. Some, some pen blast. Right. All right. Okay. I think Iron Pharaoh can make a comeback, guys. I think I can. I think. I think we can do uh, it. I think I just gave you that token. Did. Okay, there. She Job. has the token now. Um, Emerald Empress can't really do a whole lot, but... Right, she can't. That's fine. She's gonna... Actually KO'd. I don't know. Okay, I was, I was confused. I was really confused. Maybe you clicked it on purpose. Huh. Maybe I did. Maybe I did. Um... We'll just move her into hindering. We'll clear Bizarro. Mm. Clear good old Enigma. What was that? Oh, I clicked You just made another <laughs> arrow for some reason. You hit, my, you hit my clicks fig. Yeah. All right. My turn. Uh, Picking moves, whatever. Eagle moves. And then I, with my eight phasing, will do this. Uh, so this is my secret technique that whenever the battle gets really heated whip out this uh, ancient family uh, iron ancestral spirit technique that is uh, run away one two three four five six seven eight using teleport iron pharaoh to there good I will choose to uh, yeah 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 and it's here you go that's it that's all you got okay. I'm gonna roll for bizarro you just didn't want uh, riddler to KO you I, I did not, yeah. Dude, if Riddler or Dawnstar would have killed me, I'd have been like, all right. Maybe Three Thursday clicks. throwdown is over. Yeah, put me on super secret uh, 12th click with mm. Bizarro. Mm. That's okay. Okay. sidestep okay. six okay. range. Okay. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. Well, you're clearly, you moved eight, so you're clearly still within ten. So uh, Dawn Star uh, is going I mean, to pick you yeah. as the person that can be seen by everybody. And right. since there's cool. only blocking next to you and not in front of you. Ah, uh, whatever. Uh, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bizarro will have to move. So we're going to... Emerald Empress is going to perplex up Bizarro's attack. He's going to sidestep <sighs> to here. Riddler's going to perplex down your defense. And then I'm going to range combat expert all into damage. So I need a six for five to potentially do four. Oh, oh. Nah, probit. Okay, yeah, you can probably see me. 
I should have shot. If I was being smart, I should have shot from the ground where I could see you, but you couldn't see me. It's kind of a cock die. Yeah, you should reroll that cock <laughs> die. No, no, no. All right, uh, very cool. So, uh, another uh, Thursday Throwdown has come to a close. So, thank you guys so much for watching hey, this video. You. We really appreciate it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, sorry, I don't know what I don't know what happened there. Uh, must have been a glitch. You know how <laughs> technology is. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Tell us what figures you want us to use next week in Thursday Throwdown by uh, using uh, Twitter, Facebook, and Discord is where we're going to put the post up. Don't flick my box. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead. Uh, teams we're going to be using next round. It's going to be uh, another Marvel versus DC these are also two of my all-time favorite sets. Simeon will be building from Deadpool. I will be building from War of Light. These are, uh, these are some of my favorite sets of all time. I didn't play a lot of War of Light um, sealed, but I did play a lot of the figures. And Deadpool was the first set I ever bought a brick of Simeon. Is there any yeah. character from Deadpool specifically that you want fans to vote for? There's in the comment section is video, um, Twitter, Discord, or Facebook. Wolverine X23 duo fig is probably the one I've played the most from the set. But there's so many good figures. And uh, I think Arnim Zola was the first super rare I ever pulled um, from like a random booster. And I wasn't like super impressed with him at the time. But then I like built a few teams with him. And he was the one that could make the uh, Gwen Stacy clones. Or maybe they were Mary yes. Jane clones. I don't know. They're Gwen Stacy. You're right. Yeah. With perplex, and you could get like up to three of them, I believe. Um, so yeah, like there's a ton of stuff that's good in that set. I also it's one of like the first sets where I completed a common, uncommon, rare, um, which when I was like a younger collector player of Hero Clicks and wasn't like super invested in the game, it was cool to get a like my first common, uncommon rare because uh, I didn't have twenty versions of Spider Man. Iron Man, like all that stuff. So, but yeah, the, I mean, there's a ton of figures to choose from. I guess there's also zombie chases, but I don't think anyone actually likes those. So, oh, that hurts. That hurts. How could you? How could you? All right. Uh, it hurts. Anyways, zombie chases are awesome. Best part of that set, to be honest with you, besides like the Deadpool War balloons, which I loved. Anyways. Uh, I'll build it from War of Light, so just vote for uh, any and all Guy Gardeners. That's the only figure that mattered in that set. Uh, so yeah, just vote for Guy Gardner, and we're good. So as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and happy trails.